Deepika beats Priyanka. Named Sexiest Asian Woman by UK magazine actress Deepika Padukone beat Priyanka Chopra to be named the Sexiest Asian Woman in 2018 by UK newspaper Eastern Eye. While Priyanka came second on the list titled 50 Sexiest Asian Women, television actress Neo Sharma secured the third spot. Other actresses who have featured on the list include Mahira Khan, Alia Bhatt and Sonam Kapoor. Zareen Khan files fur against former manager for abusing her. Zareen Khan has filed in fur against her former manager Anjali or her who allegedly abused and threatened her over a monetary dispute. Zareen's lawyer said Anjali, who had worked for Rithik Roshan and Kangana Ranaut, indulged in character assassination by spreading malicious gossip about the actress. Anjali was allegedly accepting money on Zareen's behalf even after her services were terminated. I had dates. My parents' names on my wedding dress. Priyanka talking about her wedding dress. Priyanka Chopra revealed, I wanted something unique. Both the dresses, red and white, were personalized for me. I had names. Dates. My parents' names, my mother-in-law's wedding dress embroidered on mine, for me. It was not about fashion, I wanted the longest veil in the world, my 75-foot-long veil, dot and I got that, added the actress. Madori may contest on BJP ticket from Pune in 2019. Reports they BJP has shortlisted actress Madhuri Dixit to field her from the Pune Lok Sabha constituency in the 2019 general elections. Reports said on Thursday, earlier in June, BJP President Amit Shah met the actress at her residence in Mumbai during his party's Sam Park for Samadhan program. In the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, BJP's Anil Shirol had won from Pune, trying to get back to normal life. Vinter Nanda after revealing rape Vinter Nanda has said she's desperately trying to get back to her normal life after she opened up about her alleged rape by Alok Nath 20 years ago. I gave sleepless nights to everyone, including my family, she added. Vinter further said. I woke up to the fact that I've done it. Now I've to live up to it.